My name is Ken Rinaldo, and this is my installation, Autopoiesis. And um, what Autopoiesis is, is it's a group consciousness of robots. And as you look at these robots, you'll see that these are unusual robots in that they're created with Cabernet Sauvignon grapevines. And some may say, well, why did you choose such a beautiful natural material? Well, the grapevines are a very, very good example of a cellular consciousness. And you can see in the frozen form of the grapevines that in fact, surely the grapevine knew how to get closer to the sun, it's phototropism, but also in the beautiful curling forms as the vine wraps around another vine to get closer to the sun, it shows a kind of tropism. So what you're looking at here is you're looking basically at a tropic system or an artificial life uh, sculpture that can move toward body heat. So these are robots that are tropic toward human form. And when you approach these works, infrared sensors see your heat signature and they move toward you. But as they're moving toward you, they're also singing to a kind of global consciousness, a kind of supra brain, a single processor. And those are helping to coordinate the massive behavior of all of the robots at one time. So even if I remove one robot from the network, from the global consciousness, each of the robots will still continue to function as an individual being. So this is a really, really unusual morphology for robots and that it's one of the very first examples of a global consciousness of a robotic interactive sculpture. The works were constructed not only with grapevines, but also I used a kind of uh, urethane plastic to construct the joints. And all of the, um, the joints were created by creating a cupola and spinning it around, almost like making jewelry to force the plastic into the, into the material. And all of the robots themselves have custom-built computers that reside on top of the robots. And this is what allows all of them to coordinate their behavior working together. So in essence, autopoiesis is perhaps one of the first examples of an artificial life, global consciousness of a series of interactive robotic sculptures. And they're soft and they're intended to be approachable. And I think that it, uh, it speaks to the future of robotics that will be living with and amongst us and very much a part of our human societies and cultures.